So you have to test the water and see how the water is with this one person. Yeah. That's the exclusive. That's exclusive because that's now so me not putting just, my heart into it all. Like, I'm just like, okay, here okay, we are so now. So your heart is not at all. Yeah. I hate him so <laughs> much. <laughs> My new shirt. Yeah, new shirt. And new vibe. And your mangy beef. Like with mangy? Your <laughs> with your claws. <laughs> Did you just say mangy beast? <laughs> yeah, man. You know, before I even address that. <laughs> hi, everyone. My name is Matthew Espinosa. Hey, this is Eric Griffin. And you're tuned in to either the 26th or 27th install. No, 27th installment of. Jen to Jen. Jen I never know if you're going to like sing it. I never know if you're just going to be like Jen to Jen. So oh. I. I always have to go off what you're going to do. G to G. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we had those auto-tune mics like you have on your podcast. Yeah. And just like Griffin with Griffin. Well, Thanks for mentioning it. Hey, I'll be here all weekend, <laughs> man. I got you, bro. I got you. You know what? I haven't had you on Griffin with Griffin. I got you. Because you don't that. care about me. Uh, I've had you on every episode of Jen to Jen. I'm <laughs> <laughs> So stupid. <laughs> um, but hi, everyone. All right, now let's talk about the topic on hand. Apparently, I have mangy cats that are messing up your salmon yeah, Reebok dude, shirt. They, they, yeah, they they freaking have to put their dumb claws. Now and they're now, dumb. Mm -hmm. Now there's like, you know, marks. Oh, my God. I just got this shirt. My okay. wife just got me this shirt. So now she's going to be like, why are there claw marks? <laughs> why are there claw marks? Well, you know, I, I, I the cat just wants to show you love. I don't know. Speaking you, of love and relationships uh, how do you find a way to transition <laughs> so quick i'm talking about my cats being like yeah my cats love you're like well now well, that you, you know, mention cats, it you know they're considered you know <laughs> homey type pets and they're speaking love, you, know, and then, you know so we're you know. talking about how, how we doing yeah. on the old love front we're we're good man um <laughs> chatting with my ex <laughs> <laughs> <You> just, <laughs> Oh, you're just chatting with your ex? <laughs> That's the most I'm going to give you and the most I'm going to give everyone right now. I remember that you said we had a, well, we talked, I don't know if it was a lapse episode, episode before about when you're on a break, should there be rules? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, when you're, like, getting back together, yeah. should there be, like, if there's rules, to me, you're together. Yeah. For sure. Are you asking if there's rules currently? Yeah. Like if we're exclusive, yeah. So then she does. Look at these little. Look at your face. Look at your face. Yeah. I'm trying to be. I'm trying to, yeah. 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 Uh -huh. yeah. So, no, so are you exclusive? Yeah. I don't know. Are we? I don't know. You, what do you, how would I know? See, even Love Bugs like Matthew. This Love Bugs my PR agent. She's like, don't give him all the juice, right, Love Bugs? Oh no, it's like it's one of like you're at a Senate hearing and your cat is like, don't do that. Yeah, she's like. He won't answer that. Next question, please. Next question, please. You're pleading the fifth? Mm-hmm. I'm definitely pleading the fifth on that one. Oh. And I know she's going to listen to it and be like, why didn't you want to mention if we're exclusive? Exactly. Or not? I'm with her on this. Okay. So, okay, fine. Yeah, we're technically exclusive right Oh, there. so you have a girlfriend. No, <laughs> shut up. Matthew, congratulations no, to Matthew no, Espinosa, my no. co-host of Jen to Jen, who is now exclusive with one woman. I just I get, gotta get more water. Let me something. just let me ask you something. <laughs> On this subject, we as we talked about having a break yeah. and like the rules. Correct. How do you, how is she not your girlfriend? Explain it. How is she, because we're exclusive but not dating? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, please. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I would just like to know. I would just, we all we all would like to know. Dude, I, I, I don't. I already am. I don't like these, talking like, about my personal life, and you always no, 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 just no, no, draw no, it no. out of me. We're not talking about your personal life per se, but we're saying if there's people out there who are like. You know, they're dating and then they decide, let's be exclusive. How is that not now someone else's girlfriend? Explain it. Okay. Um, I guess labels are a thing, first off. Okay. S second off, I think exclusive is a step before you take into being. So what's the difference between being in a relationship with someone for years on end and then being engaged with someone? The engagement the, is just a, a, a sign that, hey, we're we're going to get married. It's like letting every man know, hey, we're engaged and be prepared because we're going to get married. Yeah. So, so you're, you're saying the exclusive time is the engagement before relationship. That's a good way to put it. 
Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you answered that one for me. Thanks. I, I just, I just, to me, it just feels like once you start going on that route. Yeah, me, you eventually get to that just like no, how. No, it's already there. That's what exclusive means. Exclusive. Exclusive. Like if, if, if like, I think if like Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, they came to you. And one of them was like, well, you can't be with any of these other ones. You have to be. Exclusive. exclusive because it's called exclusivity yeah. that's what they do it's in contracts meaning you can only be, be with, with that one, one yeah, right for sure so then you have an exclusive relationship with that social media platform yeah right yeah you, but you you couldn't tell them like well i mean you know i mean we're exclusive but <laughs> like how is that like, not I, I a get, relationship okay okay uh, Explain it to me. Okay, I think that obviously you're like eighty percent there. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're not doing a good job of explaining this, and I, I want know, you to explain. I'm legit asking as an older person. This is this is our agenda gen. This is moment. Our, this is our agenda gen of the of the week right now. It's like <laughs> how we label relationships. Okay. Your generation and mine. So um, officially, right now, you're saying. I think there's. I think that you know with. I think social media, weirdly enough, has a big role in why people then become boyfriend and girlfriend. Because once it's like Instagram official, think about like Facebook back then. So you you guys know. Aren't, so b b by the way, so then if we had to, okay, let's. There's let's, a difference between wait, 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 exclusive. Me, wait, wait, wait. There's a difference between <laughs> boyfriend and girlfriend, and there's a difference between boyfriend and girlfriend and and it being on Instagram. Okay, okay. So that's what I'm saying. So. All right, so the first phase is you meet someone. Correct. And then you like you start talking. 100%. And you're just talking. Is that just a phase? Just talking, just chatting. All right, seeing someone. Mm -hmm. What's that? That's like a, that's a, a a thing underneath exclusive. We're like, I'm seeing them maybe a few times a week. Okay, so you're but seeing like, them. But like, okay. I will, I won't mind entertaining if another girl texts me. I'm just seeing them. I'm just got hanging you, out with got them. Got you, got you. So know? then now... But that doesn't mean I'm going to necessarily go hang out with other girls. Like, I like hanging out with this one person. I'm seeing them a little bit. Okay, you know okay. So you're past the seeing. I'm passing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then you're saying the next step is like exclusive. Is exclusive. Yeah. So now you're exclusive, meaning you're not seeing anyone else. Or, or entertaining. You're not entertaining anyone Correct. else. Correct. You're only interested in this one woman. Correct. What's the next step? Do uh, you want to be my girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to know what is the difference between exclusive and girlfriend. Tell me. This ring. This no, no. Ring right there. That's, that's the no. Difference. That ring. Tell me, tell me some differences between these two. Exclusive, be my girlfriend. Tell me some differences. Tell me three differences. Go. Um, uh, you get more presents as a girlfriend. You get more. Uh, you get more what? You, presents as a girlfriend. Presents meaning like you're gonna buy her things. So when you're exclusive, yeah. she doesn't I'm get anything. I'm no, I didn't. I said you get more, meaning that there was still some, but you're just getting more of it. So what? Okay, so what? I didn't say you get presents now as a girl. That would imply that. So what presents have you given her? No, I'm saying like like nice. It's all like she's into the little things too. Let's okay. say you know. So it's like like candies or roses or oh. things like like you what? know like. Okay. 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 Wait. 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 Let me ask you this. What? I'm just investigating through your words. For sure. So you have, ex okay, so you have passed seeing. <laughs> We're now at exclusive. Correct. So you, are you saying that exclusive, you're not emotionally invested yet? No, I am. You just still, are, you're testing the waters. You're like, okay, before I jump in, because you can't just, like, think about a breakup versus uh, ending an exclusive thing. Okay, okay, wait. So you can't test the waters if there's other chicks in the water. So you have to test the water and see how the water is with this one person. Yeah. That's the exclusive. That's exclusive because that's now so me you're not putting my heart into it all. Like, I'm just like, okay, here okay, we are so now. So your heart isn't at all. Yeah. yeah I hate him so <laughs> much. I hate you so much right now. Got it. So Matt's <laughs> heart isn't at all. Okay, so again, again. All right, so if your heart isn't at all, you're starting to give gifts. I still don't know the difference between exclusive and you saying titles. Be, it'd be funny to beep her name right now. <laughs> I'm that, gonna have the beep be a lot longer boo -boo -boo so people is your think. girlfriend. Okay, yeah, so yeah. I still don't know what is the difference between these two. Exclusive boyfriend girlfriend, which I would like in the comments for you young people to tell me. Tell me the difference between exclusive 
and boyfriend and girlfriend. Okay. I'm still I, waiting. So. Okay. I'm not going to bring home a girl to my family right away who I'm exclusive with, but I'll bring home my girlfriend to my family. Boom. One. Two. Okay. Wait, wait, gonna, wait, wait. Okay. So oh, saying, he's got an issue with Wait, that. I do have an issue because that's so, that's so like, okay. All right. I'll give you that one. All right. I'll give you that. So you're saying when you're exclusive, that's that, it's personal between you two. So you're saying then that when you're in an exclusive stage, you're not sharing with the world. Because right, even right yeah. now on this, you're exclusive, but you don't want to share a lot of information. Yeah, I mean, that's just also because I'm a private person. I'm not going to share. <sighs> you okay. just like the juice. You're just I like- do. I like this. I love this right now. Okay, so you, that's one. You Correct. said, so the one thing is you're not introducing her to family and friends. Yeah, yeah. Like someone who I'm exclusive with, because you can get into an exclusive thing with someone faster than you would be boyfriend and girlfriend with someone. Let me ask you this, though. If okay. she was listening, per se. She is. Okay. And she heard you 100%. say- Oh, we're just exclusive, so I'm not going to meet your family and friends. She's already, but that's different with her. She gets it because she's already. Ah, uh, so therefore. So you're saying because I've already been exclusive with her in the past, I might as well just jump right into boyfriend girlfriend. I'm saying you. I'm trying to. I'm not saying jump in. I'm saying you haven't ex- explained to me the difference between these two yet. You know what? And now that I, now that I remember. <laughs> From what I you've told me, you said to not jump into things right away. You said to take your time. So I know. So wait, 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 wait. That wait, allows wait, me wait, wait, to be. Yeah, like, but you've already done it because you've jumped into. We're not even talking about that. We are strictly having a conversation right now, as a gen to gen. Okay. Twenty five, fifty. We are trying to find out because to me, what I'm saying is this: my generation is you meet someone, you like them. Once you decide you're the only one I want to see, we are now together. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. You are telling me that there is 75 different steps. So no. you went from, I like seeing, now we're at exclusive, and you're saying you're not boyfriend or girlfriend. And all I'm asking is, tell me <laughs> the <laughs> difference between exclusive and boyfriend and girlfriend. We are still waiting to hear that. <laughs> like I said, number uno, numero uno, I'm not going to bring over a random girl who's I'm exclusive with to my parents. That's on a general statement. Okay, but, that's but not, let's say that's not, let's say in this th- there's a person that say has you, already met my parents. Yeah, they've, they've already been let's together. Just say, uh, yeah. <laughs> they've already been together. They've already been very intimate. And okay, so what happens in that case? But, but we're not talking about that case because you said per se. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just adding that factor. To I find know. Out. You are. All right. So all right. So all right. So that's one thing. So what Correct. else? Um, is that is that the major thing? Well, no. I think that. Um, you have more patience because there's a lot more riding on it when you're in a relationship. I think you have more patience when you finally have taken that step. I think it's more of a commitment. I think oh. it's when you're dating someone, when you're saying, I am your boyfriend, you are my girlfriend, I, it's more of a okay. commitment. So are you and s- then same thing with engagement. I'm now committed okay, to... Okay, I get that. I get that. So are you saying that's that... That's two out of three. Thank no, you. No, no. So you're saying right now while you're exclusive, if not you, but let's say someone was someone. exclusive... When they're exclusive, they don't have to be patient with the person. That's not what I'm saying. But you just said that. No, I'm saying I can. I'm a little bit more patient because oh, you're more patient. Yeah. <laughs> so if let's I say- hate this, you make me sound like such a jerk publicly. You make me sound like I, <laughs> you make me sound so bad, bro. No, I'm not making you sound bad. You just like oh, I'm doing it and, myself. Yeah, and your process of trying to like, you know. Uh, you know, tiptoe around stuff. You, you this, I'm just listening. I'm just listening. To no, you. you're setting me up for failure. What are you talking about? I'm just listening to what you said. You said when you're between the difference between exclusive and boyfriend and girlfriend is <laughs> you're more patient. So you're more understanding and patient from exclusive to well, boyfriend I'm starting and girlfriend. To realize well, that. that's what you have to look forward to. If say someone was listening. <laughs> oh, that's what. <laughs> You, you, what you have to look forward to is a more patient and understanding Matthew. <laughs> oh man, it's so funny. All right, <laughs> all right. So we got that. Okay, so oh you introduce them to family and it's friends. Hot in here. <laughs> yeah, it is hot though. It really, actually, is hot. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you, you're more patient. You introduce them to family and friends. <sighs> I don't know. And you introduce more family and friends. Like I said, so I, you're, they, I think there's more special dates that are happening. There's more like so in exclusive, date nights. Right, let's, let's, let's Exclusive say, uh, exclusivity is like I'm trying to still figure out your personality. I'm still trying to figure out if we can, you know, 
be in the same place okay. for a while. Like I, I think like that it, actually it, makes sense to me. I'm, I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually, I, I I'm, I'm hearing what? what you're saying right now what? about he's, this. Okay, he's retaining information and is actually <laughs> allowing me to have a point in Jen. This is a big moment in Jen to Jen history. Wow, put it on the board, ladies and gentlemen. Episode twenty-seven. Eric grows a heart. <laughs> 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 All right. Okay. I feel like that thing, that stuff you're talking about, that is what happens in the seeing phase. The seeing, okay. Well, no, but the seeing phase, I don't get to see that much because remember what I said, you're only seeing them a couple times a week or three, four times a week, okay. and they're still able to put on a mask. If I'm seeing them for two hours bowling or two hours going on a date, I don't know what they're acting like. I think when you're exclusive, you're able to just be like spending the night at their house, like see how they are throughout the whole day because you can't have a mask on all day, but you can have a mask on for two hours. I still say that's in the seeing phase. But okay. I understand that take their time, you've right? added. Okay, so some people take their oh, time. Oh, let me, I, I'm trying to understand. Okay. All right. So you're in the seeing phase, mm -hmm. and you got like a bunch of girls on your phone. You're saying like hi to them all the time, you know. Yeah. But you see this one, and you're like, you know what? This is the one I think about the most. This is the one that is like really grabbing my attention. I want to spend more time with. Correct. Then you make that choice to go. You know what? You're the only one I want to see. <laughs> yeah. And that phase, you're it's calling you're, you're exclusive. Saying, so you're saying seeing is the same thing as exclusive. Yeah. I think. No, seeing, no, no. I'm not saying that, actually. I'm not oh, saying so then that. What are you saying? No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that when you're seeing in the seeing phase, you can see a lot of people. No, I'm saying not. I mean, yeah, I, I, I think that you're starting to have this idea of like this is your potential. Not, that's what person. I'm trying to say. I'm saying in the seeing phase, yeah. there could be a lot of people you're seeing. Yeah, yeah. 100%. And within that seeing phase, you decide, oh, this is the only person I want to yeah, see. Hundred percent. To me I think when you're in the seeing now phase. Now you're, you're like, maybe we've been skipping a step here. So it's like you have seeing and then it's like now you're dating. Yeah. Okay. So when you're dating, you could be dating around. Oh, you're saying just dating, like going on dates. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're going on dates. That's the that's like the seeing. Dating, seeing, and then now you decide within that, I'm seeing like two or three, and I've decided this is I one, like you. Yeah, this is yeah, the yeah. one I really like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now I'm gonna just exclusively see you. <laughs> yeah. Right? But you're still now as I'm exclusively seeing you, I'm gonna decide if uh I want to find out. It's like passport control. You know what I mean? Like this is like the TSA of your relationship. You know, yeah. you you know you you got her stuff in the in the in the thing, and she's got to go through the. She got to hold her hands up. You know, she got to stand like this, and the thing. Like goes she up passed like, all the requirements. Yeah. She has her carry on yeah, that meets yeah, yeah, the requirements, yeah, yeah. and can't be a bigger you know right. carry on that so doesn't right, fit. So right in the now top she's thing. like putting her shoes on again yeah, and 100%. trying to okay. I love how you said again, but she's not boarding the <laughs> the flight yet. Nope, which is. Cause she still needs a pass to get on the flight. <laughs> oh, she got a pass. Cause she went through security. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> she already checked in. <laughs> like Matthew, do you know how in. airports work, Wait. Matthew? <laughs> and because she's your ex, she has clear and TSA pre. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> so she, that was good. So she's I'll already. Give you that. No, you know, she has the clear thing. She has the you know the clear where yeah. you just go right through. You just. Scan. So what we're saying right now is she's still at the airport. Yeah. And she's in the lounge. Correct. But she's okay. in the nice lounge. She's in the nice lounge. Nicest lounge. But the flight's delayed. <laughs> Waiting like, okay, when is this flight gonna go? All right, correct. Okay, so once, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. I hate how that was like beyond like, Picasso <laughs> on point. That analogy was just like, so once she's on the flight, yeah, we're now we're now flying, dating. but we don't know if we're gonna land. That's true, it, it could be like, uh, due to turbulence, we are yeah. turning this flight around. Around, we're turning now, it would around. Would you say that I think you guys are on the flight? I think we're on the flight. You're on the flight. Yeah. And every now and then there's a little. <laughs> <laughs> every now and then there's a little bit of turbulence. Little, right? It's a like a please put on your seatbelt type moment. You oh, know what okay. I'm saying? You're not allowed to go to the bathroom so type landing moment. Landing gear is up and you're on the route. Yeah. Okay. I think that's the best way to put it. And that. you're and you're like, uh, you know, please return your seats to the upright position. We are headed to Relationship City. <laughs> <laughs> For 
relationships in it. Yeah. So we're not there yet. Yeah. Because it's like a six hour flight. Yeah, it's a six like, hour flight. It's, it's a long hour long. three right now, you think? I I'd say we're at like an hour hour like maybe like hour forty five minutes every now and then it, you know, we kinda go back in time a bit. What? Uh, you don't go back in time. Yeah, we do. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Now that was telling. <laughs> that was telling. But like I said, that's the point of exclusive. You figure out what's okay. working, what doesn't. That's what all I'm saying. All right. I. You know what? I'm not. Because like, I don't hate it. Okay. That's what I'm saying. I don't. I, I don't hate it. And I would know if you did. <laughs> yes, you would. Because I fucking. I would tell you. Yeah, okay, literally, so, you would tell me. So you don't. All right. You don't hate. I don't hate this. So I. I. I can actually accept. I can actually accept exclusive and not relationship. Wow. Yeah. Only 30 minutes later. That's yeah, awesome. I'm just yeah. kidding. Not 30 minutes later, but I'm glad you actually like yeah, on a real note. That. I'm glad you can see. Yeah. 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 Cause I, but I'm saying it's like, that's the difference though. Like, you yeah. know, we, you know, we can't, you know, here's something I wanted to ask you about. Also forget about this subject now. Cause we'll, we'll get it. Don't worry. We'll get back to it oh, as, as the weeks go on. Oh, literally my <laughs> friends, like I said, he's like, he was like, I was just telling my friends the other day. I was like, "Oh, you should check out the episode." I was telling them about the Josh Terry episode. Right. I was like, "You should, you should watch that episode. Like, it's a good one. You'll learn a lot about yourself and the people around you. And like, it's just a good episode to watch." She's like, "Does Eric talk about your love life at all?" I was like, "That's a thing now. Like, yeah. even my friends are waiting." He's like, "Yeah, I can't wait to hear about the next update." I'm like, "Why is this a thing? This isn't like yes, <laughs> victory." But all right, sorry, go on. So this you. is the, this is the thing too. Like I would think, I don't even know if we've talked about this before, but it's just something that just came up the other day because a friend of mine, like like a friend of mine, um, I hadn't talked to her in a while. She's like this, you know. I, I did a she run she ran a show. I did her show, and then we kind of became friends, you know. Yeah. And um, but I haven't seen. I hadn't seen her online in a while and to come to find out that she uh, removed herself from Instagram, you know? So I was like saying... As in she del deleted yeah, yeah, her Instagram or she just isn't on it? People love to do this. They just like, you know, oh, they deactivate or whatever. It's yeah, like yeah. that. Oh, social media is too much, you know? Yeah. Um, but I said, what's going on? You know, and it was like... Um, I go, I haven't talked to you. He goes, well, I deleted my Instagram and I don't... And I didn't have to respond... I don't, you know, she's saying like, I don't respond to anyone, right? You know, I'm just not responding to people, okay? But at the same time saying, I'm really feeling lost and I feel invisible in this city. So I said back, I was like, you're only lost depending on what you're trying to find and who you want to find you. Ooh. You know? And then I was like, you're making yourself invisible and then later saying, I feel invisible. Yeah. You know? And so there's like this thing about like, I'm noticing that like this younger generation, you guys communicate a lot on social media. Yeah. But there's a thing I've, I've heard this before from your, your, your group where you'll be like, social media is not real. Right. Yeah. So then like real as in, like, as in like, like, Oh, like if we're communicating with someone on social media, well, that's not real communication. Yeah. 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 I find that ridiculous. Okay, social media is one thing where you're posting, telling stories, and you're like putting pictures up, and you're you're worrying about likes and dislikes, and you're doing all that. But there's an element of it called DM, and that stands for direct, direct message. message. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That means I am directly communicating with you. So if you DM someone, your friend, yeah, and and that's real. That's real. Yeah, it's like a but text, this but on an app iMessage is an app. Yeah. Like, why does I'm mean, my question I'm asking you is why does your generation think that if it's not on iMessage, that this that iMessage is more real than a direct message in these other apps? The element of these other apps that are actually one on one communication. Yeah. I think that when you are jumping into social media, whether it's Instagram, uh, let's just do Instagram and TikTok for now. Um, that's so content based. It's so like I, people obviously have depth to their content, but majority of these apps are all surface level entertainment, you know, and I think that people put on that. They, they, they turn that switch on in their head of like, I don't need to like everyone on this app, like 
if I don't, I don't know. That's a good question. I think that there's just this surface level tone that comes with jumping on Instagram that people feel like there's not much depth in any conversation, even if you are having a long back and forth paragraph filled conversation and DMs, because I know I could swipe out and go see some cat videos in the next 30 seconds, even though it's still technically an app, just like how iMessage would be. I think that because it's on an app that is based around content, people don't feel like anything that is given to them, maybe in a direct message is fully genuine. But I mean, I, I fully dis I, I fully disagree with that. I fully agree with you. You know, I, I disagree that it, it can't be direct messaging and it can't be like like I'm I'm pretty like much agreeing I with message you. an I message is literally yeah a direct and that's message. different than a comment on Instagram. And yes. I think that's what people are mixing up. I think people are mixing up this because for instance, I saw this and I'm not gonna put them on blast, but I saw this person who's on a weight journey right now on like like uh, I think they were starting at like. For some four four or five hundred some odd pounds, and they're really like doing well. They're really mm. doing well, and I, and you know, I could have commented on their page, and said like, "Hey, great stuff! Like, like, keep it going! Like, I'm seeing your progress! Like, like, you know, love that you're putting this out there, putting out these vulnerable moments." But I didn't. I DM'd them because I wanted them to first off, one hundred percent, see it and and understand that I'm talking to them. I'm not trying to look like I'm commu like I'm commenting on a Bro, post because people I, people like, man, like people I'll, love to s love to look like they're caring no it'd be like you it'd be like saying? no it'd be like if i like if i like tweeted out like uh you know if i tweeted out oh thanks for being my friend matt i, I I'll, I'll call you later yeah why the hell am i tweeting that? yeah thank you yeah like uh, why why yeah like you're because you're overcompensating for something you need to show I people that we're stand that yeah so that's what i'm saying like like people will half the time go on comments and be like uh, and I, whether they're supporting someone or, or being there for them with their mourning something or someone or whatever it may be, like I direct message them. I'm like, Hey, I got you. I'm here for you. Like, yeah. like that's me. Like, taking I don't like, like a, a sadly, a, a really good friend of mine just passed away. But oh, sorry. Last night, a, com a comic last you know? night. Yeah, man. Not uh, the night before, oh, uh, gosh. the night before is just so all right. RIP to David Arnold. You know, he just came out with a Netflix special. He's got two daughters. And he uh, he had a heart attack and died. It's so tragic, you know. And when this happens, like you know, a lot of times people then people you know it's all over the internet now, and people start their 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 posting, you know. All right, and it's like I've never been someone who likes to do that, mm -hmm. you know. But like I feel compelled to be like, you know, it's like, do I have to show everybody that I care too? I don't know. It's a weird thing. Mourning on social media is a very it's weird a, thing it's, because it's, it's, a, it's, it's an iffy thing, right? It, it's a very it's a very iffy thing, and I'm and I can't say I've never done it. I can't say I haven't commented on people and being like, hey, I'm here for you. Let me know if you need anything. Yeah, like I we've don't all know. done that because yeah. like a lot of the times. We don't know what else to do. Yeah. We don't know how else to communicate. And this is these with feelings. the times. It's with the you know. It's like it's just that the fact that this same. T the, I think the issue is this is the same tool that's being used to say, you know, put out the thirst traps. Yeah. This is the same tool to sell products. Yeah. Like this is the same tool we're using, and and in that in that same tool we're also being like my condolences and all that kind of stuff. So I guess yeah. I guess that's the part that makes it weird. And in the same token, maybe that's the part that makes it weird for to DM to to to, to communicate with someone on the same on thing. DMs, and that's what I was saying. Like there's so this, I guess like, so I get it. You know, there's this like, that makes me understand it a little better. Yeah, it's 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 very odd. Like I've I've been in these. Oh, she's she wants to jump up with you. That's funny. Um, you know, I've been in these moments where, like I said, like it's hard to comment on someone's page because it's something like. They're mourning someone. And like I said, I just like reaching out on DMs. Like, I'm like, hey, call me if you need anything. Like, like I can call you. Like, I can text you. Like, let me know. Like, I just feel like that's a lot more personal. Like, that's what mm -hmm. I like to do. I like to have personal relationships with people. And I already know. I already know when I leave this earth, every person is going to come out the woodworks commenting on my page who hasn't been on my page or hit me up in years. Matthew, I miss you, bro. Like, blah, 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 blah. Like, Everyone's gonna come out the woodwork well, acting I mean, like they're my guess, best friend, guess, but you can't say anything bad against well, no, that. No, I guess what I'm saying is we can't like you can't sit fault here and, them for that. So we can't sit here and assume everyone's intentions. Exactly, and so the main thing is like I just like the more personal touches, and like even if that's a text, even if it's a DM, I think you know um, if it's something is getting really deep on DMs, I don't see the difference between that and texting for sure, but. Um, I don't know. I think I think the other aspect of that too is people don't like to get deep on Instagram and and social media because of 
uh, you know, maybe pe they're afraid their account might get taken or something like that. Or well, like that's a new thing. And by the way, I, 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 I right this very moment right now, if you're watching Jen to Jen, go into your Instagram, Twitter, whatever app you use and turn on the two factor authentication. Yeah. Turn it on right now. Yeah. All uh, right. You have to have that. And don't go clicking random links. Yeah. Literally. The government isn't going to send you messages. Facebook isn't going to send you text messages about your account. Yeah. None of that stuff is real. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's, it's, it's, it's a nightmare. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So, so, um, but yeah, no, I think, yeah, to answer your question, I think there's just a, such a surface level tone that comes with, um, that comes with this social media stuff and people don't like, it's just, a, it's just a, a, a well, I mean, a, I find that like people like, like to, you know, you could tell that people prioritize uh, putting out nonsense to the masses rather than communicating with people that are actually trying to communicate with them. Because it's like I have some like I had a friend of mine who was in town, you know, and I'm inviting them to my show and stuff, you know, like. And I, I said later they, they, they left town. I was like, yo, what, what happened? You know, I'm like, oh, I lost my phone. And then I wrote back. I was like, well, that was that was weird that you were still able to post on Instagram the whole weekend. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, this is what I'm saying. Like, like you young people don't want to take responsibility. Just be, you need to start being honest with people. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. Just, you need to start saying to people, Hey, I'm busy or I, I, I'm not going to be able to, you know, but don't tell somebody, you know, if somebody's hitting you up, but you're still on your story. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? Well, like yeah. you're you you on your story all weekend, and if somebody's trying to hit you up and you don't get back to them, it's a clear message. Yeah, but uh, you know what? <laughs> I will say I am. Is I, that your generation? It it's, explain it's, it to me. Okay, so that might come from like sometimes I might. It's weird. Like I'm the same way. I could easily respond to this text message. Yeah, I know. Oh, I I, oh, trust me, I know. But I don't. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I don't mean to. It's it's like sometimes it's like. Uh, I don't know how to. I, I don't know how to explain. <laughs> um, I don't know how to explain it. It's 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 really weird. It's like yeah, we, I know I, I can't. A, I needed, it's another thing I want in the comments. Explain it to me. Explain to me why you ignore your friends. You ignore people that have your actual phone number to spend time posting. You know, Jack Black videos, <laughs> which you enjoyed. <laughs> I know you like that. It was good. Did you see my comment? I tagged you. I was like, Eric, I know you'll appreciate this. But, you know, but I'm just saying it's weird how somebody that like, you know, people are just online all day, online all day. Yeah. Well, it's funny you say that because I have multiple friends who will, like I said, I'm not perfect and I will eventually get back to someone. I just might not be the best at it because sometimes like I just have so much going on through the day and I know I have to get these posts up or something for whatever it may be. But I know I can't start this conversation with someone because I don't want to start something that I know I'm not going to be able to finish that conversation because I know Ooh, I'm about to get into don't it. Don't even get me started on that. That's another thing I can't stand about so, y'all. But we'll talk about that after. So no? like, <laughs> yeah, I was, about to say, I was like, geez, I say one thing and yours, it opens up Pandora's box yeah. or something else. But um, I have friends who... Well, literally, I'll text them. They have red receipts on. This is what really annoys <gasps> me. They open it right away uh -huh. in the first two minutes and don't respond. I'm like, yeah. that's weird. Turn my receipts off. Yeah, At yeah, least, yeah, like, yeah. I don't like. I know it says delivered. Now I don't know if you actually saw. You could easily be not looking at your text because there's moments where I'm on social media, but I'm not looking at my text. I have on literally do not disturb. You know what? At the same time, though, like I hate when people like, oh man, I have. I should I should send you this to put in the things of the episode. Um, it was, uh, this guy and I, I even put it on my, on my Instagram story as like, uh, what do you call it? On my profile, I'm saying as what is it? What do I call it? Fan nonsense. Fan nonsense. Yeah. What's that? So it's when like a fan will send me some real crazy stuff. So I'm going to read this. Let me just read this. Please. This is an example. Cause it's, it's, it's on topic. Hey, thanks for leaving me on read when I was congratulating you on your wedding. I know I'm just a fan and I don't know you, but still, it kind of shows a lack of appreciation and disconnect from social norms. You don't even have to say anything. Even a thumbs up would suffice. Just some acknowledgement that you read it and appreciate someone leaving a nice message and congratulating you. But I guess I need to be verified or passed at the comedy store for my message of support to matter to you. Just don't read it if you're not going to respond. 
Anyway, good luck to you in the future, but I don't want to support someone who purposely ignores his fans when they are being nothing but supportive. By the way, I might not know much of anything about creating content, but I know that your audience is never going to grow if you don't appreciate them. Good luck to you. Are they? What is crazy? Wow. Like crazy. Like that is the craziest. Like here's the thing with Instagram. You know, like I, I'm, I'll, I'll even show you right now. Like I have me- there's messages right now, you know. So like Rachel sent me a message like because she, she sends me videos. Yeah. Every 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you have to look at this. You have to look at it. And it's just it'll be some nonsense like just cat you know, coffee, you know, coffee. But so, I get it. So, by the way, here's it. the thing, though. I opened it. I'm looking at it. It's set that sense of notification. Read. Yeah. Scene. Scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My th- it, I, I didn't see it. Yeah. My thing is I hate having this. Yeah. So what I just do is I just open it, and then I, I go away from it. But I didn't really look at it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it's like that's what happened with that situation. And then some. And also, when you send me a message that long, I'm not reading it. Yeah. Like I'm not like it, it's like you see that you go. Oh, How do you wow. think I got to this point? Yeah, I was because like, oh, I wasn't taking time looking at DMs all day. I'm working. I'm creating. I'm vibing. I'm 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 surviving. I'm thriving. I'm doing everything I got to do to get to where I'm trying to get at, to have you literally reach out to me and say, "Hey, I'm a fan of all the things you do. How do you think I got here?" Not by DMing back every single human being. You respond when you can, and you and you show love when you can, and you sometimes you're not I mean, able to get to everyone, obviously. But you, it's just it is bananas that that's the what I'm saying is this too. I used to have jokes about this too because it used to piss me off. What I'm saying is like, I think, check in with me. So meaning, let's say I have a problem with you. I'm going to hit you with a a text first being like, Matt, hey, what's up? Can you talk? Then if you say yes, then I'm going to send you that paragraph. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't Don't just drop a bomb on me. Don't open with that paragraph. Yeah. And then I might be like, well, I don't want to deal with this right now. You might say like, okay, you know. And then they're mad, like, oh, that's all you have to say? I didn't even want to have this conversation. Exactly. So you know? that's okay. So that ties in. <laughs> okay. So that ties into what you were saying about how come someone's going to text you and then that person's going to go on stories and go on Instagram all I'm weekend. I'm saying when they don't text, I, this is what, what I'm saying. I, I get that. I, I understand. Sometimes that. I can't get back to a text, but I know I'm because I need to be present where I'm at right now. And I, let's say I'm at a concert or something. I can't hold a conversation, Not I'm, but I am going to be posting. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's, so, that's what I mean. It's like, it's so, such a okay. weird, but don't, but, 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 but I'm so you saying, got, but like, you got to respect that. Let's say yeah, you hit me you up. Have like, to, hey, I, Matthew, you got to eventually take some time. That's to be what like, I'm saying. I'll be like, sorry, I was at a show. You know what I'm saying? Something. Something. And what I can't stand is don't start because this is what look girls are terrible at this. They they love to start a conversation. They love to be like, "Hey, Matt," and then take their phone and throw it across <laughs> the room. Because now you're like, "Hey, what's up?" Then you're like, "Hello, thought what's going on? Why'd you hit me up? Hey there." I, and then they come back later and be like, "Hey, chill. I don't live on my phone." Whoa. <laughs> but why well, right, are you speaking from experience? Yes, I can't stand but that's that. What the, but you're married. How can, you I'm not saying, this is before. Oh, okay, I was about to say this was is before. Like, no, no, with Rachel, I just, I get back to her. Yeah, just, yeah you yeah, know, yeah. Rachel, I'm like, hey, babe, I can't talk right now, or yeah, hey, yeah. Babe, whatever. You know what I mean? For sure. You always get back. You know what I'm saying? That's what I mean. Like, and that's what my point too is that you always get back to the people that are important. So when you don't get back to someone, it signals to them that they're not important. I'm not yeah. saying that's right. I'm not saying it's right. No, you're right. Okay, but it's just one of those things. But I can't stand that attitude of like, and that's young y'all, young people like that. I can't, I can't stand communicating with my younger friends because mm-hmm. y'all just, you know, just batch, just crazy about how how you communicate. All I'm saying is like, I believe that there should be a start, middle, and end to a conversation. That's how I feel because I grew up at a time when we actually had to have a conversation. That's a good way to put it because sometimes Imagine people, the there's no you. end a lot of times to conversations. Imagine I'm on the phone with you and I just go like this. We're on the phone and I go, hey, what, I, we're on the phone. I go, hey, what's up, Matt? This is my phone. I go, hey, what's up, Matt? And then I start watching TV. But you're just on the phone. You're like, yeah. hello? 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 Yeah. Hello? You're saying that, right? Hello, what's going on? And then I came back on the phone like this. Bro, chill. I don't live on my phone. Yeah. <laughs> that that's so, what you young people do with texting. That's how y'all are. 
<laughs> I hate this generalization of just young people. It's some of us, not all of us. Of you. you just you've already admitted to your nonsense. I know, but like I said, I all usually right. do get back is to people. Good? Well, how much time is that? Huh? <laughs> We're at forty minutes. Yeah, we, we. We're at forty minutes. I should probably read another episode no, of you, Cookie Killer. Well, Cookie. you didn't do any comments today. You didn't do any YouTube. Well, comments. the thing is, our, the episode's coming out right now as we speak, so uh, we can't. You don't have nothing from last week. Some, but not really. All I right, mean, don't worry about it. Yeah. So sorry, guys. No comments. We'll finish the episode off with episode four of Killer Cookie. Yes. Let me look at my phone. I'll be right back. You're not even prepared. I forgot. Good. I'm glad you're gone, so I can do some talking about you. So we're going to keep updated and find out if we've moved from exclusive to boyfriend and girlfriend next time on Jen to Jen. <laughs> and I'm back. You're probably talking about how awesome I am, right? Yeah. And about how cool and a, sick and just what a great boyfriend you're going to be. Dope I am. Um, so first, all right, killer cookie. So uh, can you give us a little. Um, OK, so. What happened last? Last time on Killer Cookie. Uh, we ran into a Killer Cookie. Uh, my friend Art. Um, Arthur. No, no, you're, you're already at the... You don't have to go from the beginning. Okay. I don't have to start from the beginning? No, you never start from the beginning because that makes people have to go watch. No, oh, no, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. The uh, Killer Cookie had just taken a Ferrari. <laughs> yeah, you are taking a Ferrari. Yeah. Um, and we just have a truck and, you know, we don't know how to go. So next thing I know... Uh, the Ferrari pulls over, the killer cookie pulls over and you know, he starts running away. But my boy, Josh, who played baseball, he ran faster than the cookie. So we're catching up to him right now. Mm. Now we're on chapter five and it is called revenge. So when Josh caught up to the cookie, me and Peter were right behind him. Josh jumped so far and fell on him. We had him pinned down and asked him where he is from and why he is doing this and what for. Josh took handcuffs off his back pocket. I don't know why he had handcuffs in his pocket. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know why you killed your friend in yeah. the first place in episode one. I guess so. <laughs> uh, anyway, we threw him in the truck. Okay, so now we have the killer cookie. He is handcuffed uh -huh. in the truck. And... You're on your phone at the movies right now. You know that, no. right? You're on your phone at the movies. <laughs> you know, that was what you're just doing. No, I'm not. I'm just checking. I have to charge my car, so I have to look for something. But go ahead. Um, I'm invested in Killer Cookie. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was in fifth grade. Cut me some slack, man. Um, Josh sat in shotgun, and Peter Got sat it. in the back with the cookie. So it's me driving. Josh is in the shotgun. The so not cookie. a cookie's with you guys. Yeah, he's handcuffed in the back of oh, our yeah, truck. Oh, cookie's handcuffed. Yeah, he's so handcuffed. See, arms. you would have known that if you were paying right, attention. You're right, you're right. You're right. Okay, so <laughs> the cookie has been captured, <laughs> and the cookie's in the back of the truck. Okay. Um, with handcuffs on, yeah, all that stuff. Josh sat in the shotgun. Peter sat in the back with the cookie. We buckled him down tight, He was and he was pretty quiet. We were about five minutes away <laughs> when the cookie said he was sorry and that – Oh, wow. Okay. This got deep. Okay. So the cookie said we – were about, we were about five minutes away when the cookie said he was sorry and that his wife and kids left him to die in the oven. While he was, ta while he was talking, he was crying. We all were silent for about two minutes. But then Peter thought the cookie was lying the whole time. Peter was right because the cookie laughed after he said that. So it's a distant cookie. Dot dot dot. This is still the, chapter six. Isn't we're not on chapter six yet. There's more to chapter five. All right, let's hear about so it. So Peter punched the cookie in the face. <laughs> you guys are rude and evil. <laughs> and, and the cookie, and the cookies screamed and started. Oh, I wrote screams twice. Punch him in the face and the cookie screamed and started. Give yourself some slack. You're in the fifth grade. <laughs> right. Right. And mumbling something in German. Wow. A German cookie. A German cookie. Wow. OK. We pulled up to the house and Peter take took the cookie and threw it on the driveway. Uh, next to the grass. The mm -hmm. cookie. Sorry, by the way, I'm like slowly reading. This is all like in handwriting, so it's hard to like. Oh, yeah, you have to explain. We get it. Yeah. Uh, the cookie got up after he was thrown onto the grass next to the uh, driveway uh, or next. Yeah. Next to the grass on the driveway. We dragged him into the house and asked him some questions. 
So you guys are interrogating. Yes, yeah, so now we're interrogating this cookie. Okay. Uh, so oh, I just lost my place. Oh, here I am. Um, so we started. Oh yeah, we started asking him some questions, and he was pretty good on the questions until the end. My mom came in the room. Oh my gosh, I live with my parents. Yeah, you're five. <laughs> no, I'm in fifth grade. And you were playing video games. That's true. Well, so in, your video story, games. in your story, you're outraged that you live with your parents? Yeah, that's the weird part of the story. Oh, that's the weird part <laughs> of the story? <laughs> Not the handcuffed cookie? Nope. All right. That, was, nope. that stole a Ferrari? All right, go on. Um, so we asked him some questions and until my mom came in the room with something smelling really good, I stood up. And my mom was holding a batch of cookies. Mm -hmm. When the cookies saw the cookies, he said three names that were Lynette, Bob, and Jamie. We were wondering why he said that. Because your mom's a monster. But then I remembered (laughs) that when the cookies said his family left him to die in the oven, my mother probably forgot a batch and cooked the cookies family. The cookies started to cry. I started to giggle. The cookie screamed and broke loose from the handcuffs and started hitting his head against the wall while he was screaming the names of his family. Oh, my God. (laughs) Oh, my God. This is in your fifth grade head? (laughs) You are a monster. What is wrong with me? (laughs) What is wrong with me? (laughs) Bro, that's terrifying yes yeah. like, this, went from, this went from a family show on cw to fucking this is like a hbo max after dark Bro, I, evil so that's all of episode that's, that's chapter five she was all right well we have to we have to tune in for, next week to find out what happens with killer cookie on, in the uh, final chapter the chapter final, six the final chapter dun, dun, dun. titled <laughs> the aftermath Oof. well I think that was yeah. great. And then, that's... so we're looking forward to finding out what's going on with the Killer Cookie. Uh, next week, mm-hmm. we're going to talk about what is this nonsense you said earlier? MagCon. I don't even know what that is. MagCon, yeah. So MagCon? Is that like Comic Con? Uh, uh, yeah. Mag, but like M A G C O N. Oh, MagCon. Like magazines? or No, no, no. no. We'll, we'll, we'll get into it next week. Magnum which... condoms? No. <laughs> Why am I not put that together? <laughs> well, we can't put that. We can't put that in the. Uh, yes, you can. No, we can't. That's not bad. It, uh, saying the word condom, you think it's bad? I, I just, I don't know. Maybe not. No, it's not. It's just, wow. Mm. Just talk about a joke ruiner. Um, I, I thought it was funny. All right, so we'll talk about that, and then we'll also get a, you know, a little update, a little your, exclusivity update. Your favorite part <laughs> of the episodes. Because, no. uh, by the way, because we're building up to. S- this person possibly coming on the podcast and I'll be sitting there and they'll be sitting here and And you'll be like our therapist. Yeah. We're going to go in and communicate. Well, thank you everyone for watching another episode of gen to gen. My name is Matthew Espinosa. This is Eric Griffin. And be sure to leave a comment, give us some reviews on Spotify and Apple. We're going to start getting some merch out soon and really cultivating this fan base and community as time goes on. You know, we're still very early on in the process, but overall, we definitely are seeing a lot of the main supporters. And we're going to be sure to show that love back. So be sure to continue supporting us because that's what obviously keeps this, you know, show going. And and we want to start hitting the hundreds soon when it comes to the episode numbers and all that stuff. So thank you to everyone who's been watching. Again, my name is Matthew Espinosa. This is Eric Griffin. And this is another episode of Gen Gen 2 Gen. Goodbye.